We can't solve problems using the same kind of thinking that we use to create them. That's a quote from Albert Einstein. What's he talking about? <coughs> we can't solve problems using the same kind of thinking that we use to create them. Hi, I'm Ellie Bierman, and I'm really glad you came by today. You can find me over at Your Relationship Intelligence. Com. So in that very famous Einstein quote, what did he mean? What was he talking about? Well, you see, scientists tell us, and lots of research shows this, so I'm going to go with these numbers, that we think 65,000 thoughts a day. Well, of those 65,000 thoughts a day, they say 95% are the same ones we thought the day before, the day before, the day before, and the day before, and maybe for years, maybe even for decades. And that's because we live 95% of our lives, of each day, working from our subconscious mind with all those thoughts operating out of conscious awareness. So if you wonder why your world looks the same way each day, it's because you're the same person, having the same thoughts, creating the same feelings, creating the same actions, day after day after day, that keep you stuck, that keep you unhappy, unhealthy, and just at a loss of how to make changes. Huh. But you can make changes, but you can make changes. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you have to do is live in the present moment for longer than 5% of each day. How do you do that? You pay attention to what you're feeling because your feeling tells you what you're thinking and you can change your thought patterns. So the way you think causes the feelings and the feelings causes the actions and you're not even spending your day taking new actions. You're simply going back in your subconscious mind and reacting to certain stimuli in your environment. No one the world's gonna look the same every day. What can you do instead? Pay attention to what you're feeling. Say, what would I have to be thinking to cause that feeling to be there for me? And then here's the biggie. You think a different thought. Because you see those feelings and the actions you take, they're your habits. And the bottom line fact is, habits define futures until they don't. Well, how is it that they don't? Yeah, you change them. Yes, you can change your habits. You can't do it by working and living on automatic. You can only do it with conscious awareness. Now, I'm currently creating a course to assist you in how to become aware of what's causing your world. Coming out of here, what's causing those habits so that you can change them. And in so doing, then you can change your life. Let me give you a very quick for instance. One of the things I teach in my relationship course, which I kind of call, what do I call it? Save Your Marriage Boot Camp. So in my Save Your Marriage Boot Camp, one of the early lessons is all about what are you looking for in a partner? Make a list. Make a detailed list. And then you become the person that you're looking for. Because you can only attract to yourself. 
someone else vibrating at the same frequency because we're all energy. We're energy. And each of us is vibrating at a specific frequency, which is determined by how we feel. And that's how it all fits together. So when you change who you are, kind of like changing your personality, you have to become somebody different so that you can have different beliefs, which are coming from your different feelings, which are coming from your Now you can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. You don't have to live your life in unhappiness. You don't have to live your life wishing and coping. Because here's the thing. Wishing and hoping and coping will never, ever bring the life to you that you desire. And even more importantly, you deserve. I'll see you here next week and keep you posted on the progress I'm making with that course.